Hello, thanks for joining this uh, video uh, from Ozen Engineering. Today we're going to start uh, building a centrifugal pump design from scratch and uh, take it through the whole way through the analysis using ANSYS tools. For this purpose, I've opened up the latest workbench version and then I'm going to go under component systems and I'm going to pick Vista CPD for centrifugal pump design. And there uh, we have, we're going to first start looking at the blade design. We will be designing both the impeller and the volute around it. Uh, so let's start with our impeller. Uh, so we have impeller selected up top and uh, we need to define our operating conditions which are 1600 RPM. Let's just put a 300 meter cubes per hour of water flow. We are going to leave the rest of the inputs the same. If uh, the user has uh, information on some efficiencies, it can be changed over here. Um, let's, let's move on to the next tab, which is the geometry. Uh, let, let's change the diameter factor and the diameter ratio. Uh, and then let's keep the trailing edge blade angle the same. Increase our number of wanes to eight. And next step is uh, we go to results. And when we hit calculate, uh, the software is going to generate a preliminary shape for our impeller. And here uh, we can see uh, the properties and performance of our impeller. Let's look at our efficiency chart, which, which looks pretty good. It's uh, within the expected range of data. Uh, so we can start with this uh, impeller design. Uh, we also want to do our volute design here. So let's check volute and uh, operating conditions are the same. Uh, and we really don't want to uh, ch change any of the geometric inputs here. So we can just hit calculate and uh, it's going to come up uh, with some basic parameters and shape for the R volute. Once we're done with this step, uh, we can hit the close button. Now let's uh, go to uh, blade gen and improve on our impeller design. So then we're gonna double click on it. And move our window here and blade gen uh, is, is a tool that is developed for turbo machinery design engineers and uh, it gives the user power uh, to change the design very quickly uh, by uh, clicking on these buttons and you, you can make the changes many different ways uh, and we have discussed this in some other videos uh, Today, uh, I'm just going to ma make a small change. I'm going to uh, put a uh, more rounded trailing edge. So for that, I'm going to hit the blade properties button. Here, uh, you can essentially uh, pl play with different leading and trailing edge options. Uh, so I'm going to go to trailing edge and I'm going to check ellipse. I'll hit OK and you're going to see the, the change in design immediately uh, in, in the graph here. So this is a pretty powerful tool where you know we can change the thickness, uh, the curvature, etc. of the blades or play with the hub and the shroud shape. Uh, but you know I'm not going to be doing that for today's example. So I'm just gonna close this window down. 